This is a quick start tutorial for LT Spice. I'll show you how to get your first circuit up and running in LT Spice. I will be using LT Spice 17 for the example that I'm going to show to you. Open up LT Spice, go to File menu, New Schematic, click on that. So you now have a new schematic page on your screen. It is called draft with some number dot .ac. For every new project, it is always good to open a new folder. So you go to the save as and in, in a directory that you would like to store all your simulations, you click on new folder and let's say we will do an R simple RC circuit. So name it as RC01 and go into that and name the file as rc circuit rc01 and save that it will reflect here on the title bar now you have the schematic page where you will start drawing the circuit let me now play the components onto the schematics page one by one. I will first pick the resistor. You will see that all the components are here available for you to pick and place. I will pick the resistor. I will place one resistor here. I need two resistors for the circuit. So I will place another resistor here and I don't need any more and I will right click and close this component. Then I will go and pick a capacitor. I will need a capacitor because it is an RC filter. Pick the capacitor. I will place a capacitor here and then right click to close that component. I will need a voltage source. So go into this component block which will give you a list of components and scroll to V there is a voltage, the voltage source, click on that and pick the voltage source. Then last but most important, you need to have a reference node for the circuit. It is called the reference node or the zero node or the ground node or the circuit ground. So there is a circuit ground provided here we will pick that and then place that then close that component now we have all the components for our rc circuit here now i would like to rotate this component r1 so that it is horizontal you could click on this move and click on r1 when where you will see that the rotate and mirror tags are highlighted. You could use either Control R for rotating or Control E for mirroring. So I will click on this, rotate this component and place it here. Posi position the components appropriately. Next, let us interconnect the various components using the wire component. Take the wire component and in this fashion interconnect the nodes of the components like this and neatly interconnect all the components appropriately. This is an RC filter circuit. Then after you finish that, right click to come out of the wire wiring mode. I will now pick the circuit ground and place it here. You can choose any of the nodes on the circuit as a circuit ground and the simulation tool or the simulation software will provide the node voltages of all the nodes of the circuit with respect to that ground. So I would prefer to 
use this node as a circuit ground. So I'll place it there, pick the wire and connect it to that. So right click, you are now out of the wiring mode. Now this node is considered as zero voltage for the circuit and all other node voltages are referred with respect to the zero voltage which also means that in a real circuit if you are probing with the oscilloscope you will keep the ground probe here and the positive of the probes at the various other nodes to check the voltages. Now that you have wired up the circuit you need to provide values to the various components and the source. So let us say R1 you will see that the cursor changes shape into a pointing hand. Right click and then enter the value. I will just put 100. You could put the tolerance power rating uh, values also here. But I will just put the value 100. Just sufficient for simulation. And this also I am going to put 100 ohms and for the capacitor let me put 100 micro farad you could use uf for micro farad for milli farad lower case letter m f so i have used 100 micro farads there are various other parameters that also you can fill it up uh, but the capacitance value is compulsory others are optional I will leave it at that. So we have the component values. Now let us define the source. So I would like to give a pulsed source here. So, uh, a pulse 0 to uh, 10 volts pulsed 50% duty cycle uh, so that you can see the filtering action across the output which is across the C. So right click here Go to advanced, choose pulsed source. The moment you see, you can, cho you can uh, choose pulse source, sine source, exponential, so on. Uh, you could also give piecewise linear, means you give the x axis time value 1, voltage value 1, time value 2, voltage value 2, so on. So you can shape any uh, wave shape uh, like a lookup table, that is piecewise linear. Right now, I am going to choose pulse 1, what it means here. V1 is the lower value of the pulse, which I want it to be 0. V2 is the higher value when it is on, I want it to be 10 volts. Delay from 0 when do you want it to start, I will keep that as 0. Rise time, I will keep it as 0 for now. You can give different values of rise times depending upon what you want to test. Fall time also I will give it as 0. On time I will give it as 5 microseconds. Period 10 microseconds. So it is on for 5 microseconds, off for 5 microseconds. So the total period is 10 microseconds. So then I will click OK and this is also defined. In order not to clutter up the circuit, you could make this parameter uh, uh, definition of the uh, voltage source, let us say, uh, smaller. You could choose a smaller font here. Let us say I choose this font, it will be small, so that it also gives you the information and it will also not clutter up the circuit. You could do that for the other uh, component values also. You can also move these pa parameter values and the component numberings to appropriate locations so that your circuit looks aesthetically pleasing. You go and take the move button, click on what you want to move, place them appropriately like this, click on this place it appropriately in 
in place where it doesn't disturb the way your circuit so now you have a much more pleasing non cluttered circuit on the screen so you can now take time to save save your schematic so now you are ready to do simulation you can go to simulate and you can run the simulation so when you ask it to simulate there are many analysis that come into that you can perform with lt spice you can do the transient analysis you can use the uh, ac analysis through the ac sweep you can do the dc sweep noise dc transfer function and operating point analysis transient analysis is the most widely used one you will get the maximum information from the transient analysis so you could use that as the default analysis and then try to do the other analysis when a specific need arises so let us give some values here stop time let us say i want to do the analysis i have given 5 micro 10 10 microseconds period so probably it will be nice for me to see at least uh, 10 cycles so i will give stop time as 200 microseconds all others are optional you can just leave that for now and click okay the analysis is performed the simulation is over you can now see the various waveforms now you see that when i am moving the cursor at various points you see the cursor symbol changing in this fashion now this is like the positive of the oscilloscope probe this will give you the node voltage here also this will give you the node voltage if i move the cursor on to the component you see an arrow mark kind of cursor it gives you the current the branch current so if i move it on to this component you see the branch current on the component if i place the cursor it gives you the branch current or the current through the component this is the current through the component this is a voltage this is a node voltage this is a node voltage see this is a node voltage so all i have to do is let me click what the input wave shape look like click there so you will see that i have an input of pulses 0 to 10 volts 5 microseconds on high 5 microseconds low and so on keeps repeating now let us look at the node voltage here which is the output filtered output this and this are same i could check here and i get the voltage across the capacitor you see that there is a blue line here because of the filtering effect it has not risen up to 10 volts level let me let me delete this trace and just place on the screen only the output voltage so you see that it is rising you see that this is a filtered uh, value of the pulsed waveform it has in this time scale of 10 cycles it has risen only up to 110 millivolts uh, roughly about 0.1 volts so you are not able to see in the 0 to 10 scale you can also now click right click on the component here change the values i have now changed it to 10 microfarad lower filtering effect and rerun the simulation let us rerun the simulation and 
you see that the voltage has now risen to 990 millivolts because of the lower filtering effect. Let me go to this transient response instead of 200 microsecond. Let me make it 1000 microseconds and re-simulate. So you see that the output potential here is rising and it will reach a stable value uh, of around 2.5 volts as a duty cycle and also an attenuation here. And you could now check along with this voltage. This is the input source voltage 0 to 10 volts and this is the voltage across the output. You could you could just left click and drag around the waveform portion that you would like to see zoomed and you will get the waveform of that zoomed in portion. You can study it much better. So in this way you can iterate uh, and try to uh, learn about the circuit. This is the simplest simulation of the circuit that you would have seen. Just a transient analysis which stop time. There are many complex analysis, many things that you can do with LT spice. I will leave it to you to explore that.